Today, the land between contains some 20 provincial parks and conservation reserves. These parks came into existence in waves in the second half of the 20th century. In a few special cases, unique features were identified that needed protecting, like the petroglyphs at Petroglyphs Park. Others, such as the Kawartha Signature Site and Queen Elizabeth II Wildlands, exist, at least in part, because they are prime examples of the land between ecotone. And still others exist, such as Bon Echo, because of the generosity of landowners. Merrill Dennison, Flora's son, he ran the inn once Flora passed away and always wanted to have the land protected, that it wouldn't be developed. And he and his mother, Flora, talked about this quite a bit. So in 19... 59, he actually gave about 1,200 acres to the provincial government. And in 1965, on July 21st, the land became uh, Bon Echo Provincial Park. And over the years, more land has been added to the park so that it's grown to being almost 9,000 hectares in size. Ooh. 